Following the passing of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, in 2021, the royal family has been missing a forthright figurehead who stared the firm with an uncompromising hand. His absence is profoundly noted. Prince William, his grandson, is now said to be filling Philip's shoes as the royals face turbulent times, adopting his grandfather's strict approach, particularly in dealings with his younger sibling, Prince Harry. The stalwart support of the late Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Philip was not just known for his witty remarks and occasional gaffes but also for ensuring the smooth operation of royal affairs behind the scenes, accepting no excuses. William, the future king, is believed to be emulating his grandfather's firm hand in managing royal family matters. A source disclosed to the Daily Beast that William, at 42, is now the one calling the shots, having assumed the mantle of the family's disciplinarian. The insider stated, there is a sense that William has stepped into the Prince Philip role. Philip ruled the family with a rod of iron and you saw when he died that discipline collapsed. Now William is calling the shots when it comes to family discipline, reports the Mirror. The source revealed that Prince William's firm stance in the ongoing feud with Prince Harry is a testament to his steely side. Despite King Charles' alleged desire to spend more time with his younger son, William has remained resolute, a move that the source says tells you everything you need to know about who is really in charge. In these challenging times for the senior royals, the future king has shown remarkable strength. His father, King Charles, has resumed some of his duties while undergoing cancer treatment, and his wife, Kate Middleton, is currently on a preventative chemotherapy course following her own cancer diagnosis. It is anticipated that the royal family will soon be gearing up for their annual sojourn to Balmoral, in the Scottish Highlands. This year's trip is expected to provide a much-needed opportunity to take stock. Jenny Bond, former BBC royal correspondent, told OK, it's been one heck of a year for the royal family so far and nothing would please the king more than to have his close family gathered together in the peace of Balmoral for a time to take stock together, mark the passing of an incredibly difficult few months and look to the future. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select join community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click join community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose exit group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. She went on to say, like Catherine herself has said, Cancer treatment brings with it a large measure of uncertainty and that must extend to whether she is able to spend part of the summer holidays at Balmoral. If she does go, I'm sure the whole family will want to surround her with love, support and renewed strength. She, meanwhile, will want to make the summer months as fun and carefree for the children as she possibly can after everything she's been through.